in this video we want to look at uh, crib death crib death is also called as uh, sudden infant death syndrome or cot death sudden infant death syndrome or cot death or crib death do you know what a crib is crib is usually nothing but a cradle okay wait we'll show you where they'll kind of uh, <clears throat> this is actually a crib okay where they put the baby this, uh, what happens is uh, unexpected death of a healthy infant whose death remains unexplained even after complete autopsy. This is called a sudden infant death syndrome. Some babies, they die in their sleep. Okay, so this is caught death, crib death or sudden infant death syndrome. Okay, so this is basically what unexpected and after doing autopsy also, complete autopsy also, you cannot explain why the death happened. This is called as sudden infant death syndrome. Now the features are what are the features? Features are 0 0.2 to 0.4% live births, any babies, 0 0.2 to 0.4% they die in the crib. Okay, the age will be anywhere between 2 weeks to 2 years. Now, majority in the age group are actually between 6 weeks to 6 months. Okay, with a peak between 2 to 4 months of age. So, 2 to 4 months of age is very, very crucial. Two to four months of age, they seem to die a lot. This is a peak. Okay. Okay. What did you understand? 0. 0.2 to 0.4% of the babies, they die in uh, sudden infant death syndrome. Two months to four months is peak, they are saying. Okay. It can happen anywhere from two weeks to two years also. Okay. Now, moving on. The gender. The gender is in male. Actually, this is more higher in male infants okay and um, there is a threefold risk risk among twins especially twins born prematurely so obviously twins who are born prematurely they seem to be dying in sudden infant death syndrome okay this is a high risk okay what is the geographical distribution for the script death actually it is worldwide worldwide it happens crib means even in india cradle they use it's the same thing sudden death for god knows what reason even after autopsy they can't find out okay now it usually occurs in rainy and winter season they have found rainy and winter season they seem to have uh, found that it occurs more everywhere in the world it occurs usually in winter rainy or winter season it occurs more then Time of death always in night during sleep with moderate increase in early morning hours. Night and early morning. So mainly night <clears throat> during sleep and early morning. Early morning also some cases are there. <clears throat> Usually it happens in low socioeconomic status. But this doesn't look like low socioeconomic status. But this book says that it happens in low socioeconomic scenarios. Okay. <clears throat> Now, why does it happen? So, what is the hypothesis? There is no single cause for sudden infant death syndrome. The reason may be attributed to a number of things. Basically, they don't know. They are just trying to put forward some theories. So, prolonged sleep apnea. Prolonged sleep apnea. Okay. Is the most accepted, okay, of the causes. Okay. This condition leads to hypoxia. So basically, the person is not breathing. Sleep apnea means there is no respiration in sleep. They are not able to breathe. So there is hypoxia. Right? And this hypoxia causes bradycardia, cardiac arrest. So cardiac arrest happens. Okay? So what are the other reasons? First thing you saw, prolonged sleep apnea. Apnea. So no breathing when the baby is sleeping. It is not respiring. Then hypersensitivity. Hypersensitivity of the respiratory tract. So what happens when they give some bovine milk? Bovine means what? Cow milk, right? When they give cow milk, the there can be a hypersensitivity reaction of the baby. And uh, this hypersensitivity reaction of the respiratory tract lumen is responsible for producing laryngospasm. So there will be laryngospasm because of hypersensitivity 
that is what you should remember then respiratory infection may produce viremia viremia can be there due to respiratory infection so virus also can cause this <clears throat> i think you're sleeping right you yourself are sleeping and we are putting you to sleep with more uh, monotonous stone so we will tell you again what are the three causes sleep apnoea then we saw hypersensitivity to cow milk then we are looking at infection due to virus infection due to virus which may cause sleep depression of a respiratory center so respiratory centers they will depress off the baby won't breathe and it will die then then they are saying nasal edema nasal edema and mucus secretion may block the airway so uh, the blocked airway and flaccid pharynx in hypotonic infects neck posture may further reduce the airway passage so god knows how they have put the child here in this which posture they have put so basically because of that it can happen that the neck posture may further reduce the airway passage that's why they say you know it should be flat it should some people now they make it high on one side and low on one side that could be bad okay so basically what were the four causes that we have seen so far prolonged sleep apnoea local hypersensitivity due to cow's milk respiratory infection because of virus nasal edema mucus uh, a block okay then continuing still so many causes are there don't worry what are the causes let's look at the further causes pregnancy itself in pregnancy itself that uh, that can inhibit fetal circulation so the infant's brain is damaged in the mother's womb itself infants infant's brain actually you can say fetal brain damage fetal brain damage that means to say in the mother's womb itself due to some uh, improper fetal circulation there is a damage in the infant brain so it can no longer control breathing so it cannot breathe properly so an unidentified trigger may affect the airway okay god knows what it is some unidentified trigger will come and it can affect this airway of the sleeping infant brain would not respond properly and stops breathing okay then then they are saying the pillow the bed and pillow the bed and pillow may fall over the mouth of the child or the nose cover the mouth and the nose of the child right but they are saying mouth okay so the baby will do something and it will suffocate itself with these so when you're covering the baby you should make sure that this uh, blanket should not be too thick so if it covers the something happens and this blanket comes over the mouth of the baby or this pillow should not somehow come if it comes also it should not choke so those are the things that you should keep in mind while planning the bed and the pillow of the baby usually they say they should be hard but if it is soft and if it is thick if it is soft and thick then it may cause problem correct what do you think i am not saying this is something i am just suggesting whatever you think you tell then coming to accidental prone position of the child favoring smothering so this baby instead of keeping its head up no it has put off its head down like this and it is sleeping and it doesn't know its tummy is down poor baby it doesn't know how to breathe now this nose is completely blocked by the bedding and it doesn't know how to come back to the normal position because it's a very small infant correct then it can also happen that the mother is sleeping over the baby that is why in us and all they will not allow the mother to sleep with the baby because they don't trust the mother at all in america well at least here we like putting mother and child together but in america they don't like them sleeping together because they think that the mother will go off of the child and smother it anyways i don't agree with it at all okay then coming to criminal involvement of either of the patient parent then how is it sudden infant death syndrome if it is criminal involvement then it is criminal crime only not obviously they should find out this is i am not accepting this cause okay then coming to developmental anomalies of conduction system so where we clearly some congenital problems will be there congenital problems will be there the congenital problems could be anomalies in the conduction system anomalies in the conduction system respiratory tract uh, issues 
CNS disorders, obviously all these issues, no, who has to explain to you everything, you know, some problem with the brain, some problem with the respiratory tract, some pro problem with uh, some uh, uh, deficiency of selenium, they are saying, deficiency of selenium, deficiency of vitamin E, some parathyroid issue, some adrenal hormone issue, some shock, all this they are seeing, some hormone issues, can you imagine, parathyroid and uh, adrenal hormone issues they are seeing. So all these can cause crib death. So we are uh, done with the causes of crib death. So let's just revise again all the causes. Let's see how many you remember. Let's try to remember. The first four we saw that you must be remember at least. What was the first? Most probably said prolonged sleep apnoia. Then we saw that bovine milk hypersensitivity. Then we saw that uh, some nasal mucus or something. Here there was one more, no? Mm, what was that? That was respiratory infection, virus infection. Okay, then we talked about uh, congenital issues, some issues with the fetal uh, con development or it could be fetal growth in the mother. Uh, the circulation, the circulation may be inadequate, right? Then the bed and the pillow may not be proper. They may be very soft and suffocate the child. The baby may become ulta, so prone position and it may suffocate itself or whatever. Or mother will sleep over the child. Then uh, developmental anomalies, that is congenital anomalies. We said the brain is not developed properly. The respiratory tract is not developed properly. The conduction system is not developed properly. There is shock or deficiency of selenium, vitamin E. There is parathyroid and adrenal hormone issues. Okay. So many issues can be there. Now let us go to medical legal importance of crib death medical legal importance of crib death or sudden infant death syndrome or cord death okay medical legal importance what is the importance of <clears throat> this <clears throat> so basically uh, sudden death infant syndrome can you uh, can you you know uh, basically some people they do infanticide they kill the baby and they'll say it suddenly died so you need to clearly investigate especially in case of a female child as to what has been done because it may be possible that they are killing it because it's a female but i don't agree with this at all um, even if it is male child you please check properly okay i don't uh, believe anybody just it's written in this book that especially if it's female child you should check and all that you check even if it's male child okay i know i know i know what i'm saying i know but i'm just saying that try to distinguish between infanticide and sudden death, infant death syndrome that's all they are saying okay so now we are done with the uh, crib death so what did you learn in crib death we learned that um, <clears throat> it is a sudden and unexpected death of a healthy infant apparently healthy infant you can say apparently healthy infant suddenly dies in an unexplained way even after complete autopsy okay so it's a healthy baby dying without any known uh, reason even after autopsy so here this um, incidence will be 0.2 to 0.4 percent of healthy uh, of live births age anywhere from two weeks to two years Peak is seen in two months to four months. They are seeing a lot of peak. Okay. Usually in male child, they are seeing this uh, sudden infant death syndrome. In twins, they are seeing more cases. I don't know if both the twins are dying. Only one twin is dying. But if it is born premature, right? Premature birth, it can happen. Okay. Then they are see seeing that it is worldwide phenomena. Whole world is having this issue. Then... The seasonal variation is there. Rainy and winter season, it is occurring more. Okay. Then they are saying that in the time, time that what is affected is the night time and early morning, the babies are dying. Okay. Then what is happening? They are saying in low socioeconomic status, this is happening more. Now cause, hypothesis, cause, we saw so many causes, we will not go again. Medical legal importance, you should distinguish between infanticide and um, sudden infant death syndrome and you should also check for female feticide. For marks, obviously you will write this, but check whether it is male also can be killed, why not? If it is an unwanted child, right? Unwanted, whether it is male, female, they will kill. Okay, now um, that's all. So we are done with the uh, crib death. We will meet you in the next video. Okay. Say bye, 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 bye.